I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the revised First Time Home Buyers Incentive Program for Vancouver. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. The first time home buyer incentive program started in 2019 and it did not help at all for people looking to buy a home in Vancouver or Toronto because the prices in those cities were much higher than what the program allowed. With the new changes, a first time home buyer may consider taking advantage of this program. Before we dive into all the details, let's review what the program is all about. The first time home buyers incentive helps people across Canada purchase their first home. The program offers five or 10% off the home's purchase price to put toward a down payment. This addition to your down payment lowers your mortgage carrying costs, making home ownership more affordable. The program makes it easier for you to buy a home and lower your monthly mortgage payments. But what's the catch? This program is a shared equity mortgage. This means that the government shares in the upside and downside of the property value. It allows you to borrow five or 10% off the purchase price of the home. You pay it back the same percentage of the value of your home when you sell it or within a 25 year window. The incentive is like, it's like a second mortgage on your home. Your first mortgage must be greater than 80% of the value of the property and is subject to a mortgage loan insurance premium. Now that we have an overview of the program, Let's go over a few criteria to determine your eligibility for the first time home buyer incentive and we'll go over the changes made specifically for Vancouver. Of course, first off, you need to be a first time home buyer. You are a Canadian citizen, permanent resident or non-permanent resident authorized to work in Canada. And your down payment is from your own savings and not borrowed. Now, here are the changes. Your total annual qualifying income doesn't exceed $150,000 if you're buying in Vancouver. Before, it was $120,000. And your total borrowing is no more than 4.5 times your qualifying income, whereas before, it was only four times, including the government incentives. So, no, what does this all mean to you? It means you can qualify for a purchase price up to around $722,000 instead of only $505,000 under the original requirements. So is this program right for you? Well, of course, the infamous answer is it depends. But I'm leaning more towards staying away from it. People think using the program allows you to buy something more expensive it's not. You actually end up borrowing the same amount, if not more, if you didn't use the program. So if you're looking to maximize your borrowing power, stay away from this program. You'll end up buying something less than what you can actually qualify for. So who is this program for then? It's for people who are very strong and can qualify much more than what they are buying based on their income. The question or trade-off is, how important is cash flow for you? The 5% interest-free loan is attractive because then your monthly mortgage payment will be slightly less. However, the drawback is you need to give up 5% of the equity to the government. They promote it as an interest-free loan, but really it can be very costly if real estate continues to rise and the equity gets more and more valuable. So even with this change, I don't think people should take advantage of it. Some will, but most won't. Giving equity to the government can be very costly and exchange for only a slightly lower monthly payment. I don't know, I don't think it's worth it. It's important to get connected though and, and let's run the numbers together to see 
if this program makes sense for you. And there you go. We just went over everything you need to know about the revised First Time Home Buyers Incentive Program for Vancouver. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.